Oh, so this is an article here from Rolling Stone magazine. Um, a fairly, what did you say? A fairly sobering article, actually, from the Rolling Stones magazine, reminding myself and others within the nightlife scene that um, however optimistic that we feel about things going forward, that we probably shouldn't, especially if you want to go and party and rave again. Something that I've been missing, you know, for the longest time, especially, I think maybe since the winter months, I've actually kind of been thinking, fuck, man, how amazing or how fun would it be to kind of be able to go out now and party and, you know, throw your hands up in the air like you just don't care and do all that good stuff. But unfortunately, you know, needs must stay indoors, you know, remain in place, all that good stuff. So this article here from Rolling Stone says the following Coachella will reschedule its date again. So I think you're aware that prior to covid wreaking havoc on most of the world i think coachella might have been were they the first or am i bugging out or they're the last i'm not too sure but regardless they were one of the first ones i remember seeing deciding to postpone their dates i think twice or something they just pushed it back and then they decided to push it back again to the following year you know not essentially cancelling it i'm assuming if you don't say you cancelled something you are kind of protecting yourself from liability reasons and all that malarkey but essentially they cancelled it and said hey we're going to throw it again next year with the exact same lineup so this article says the following it said they're going to cancel it again until april 2021 instead so here's the following so 2022 yeah 21 yeah 2021 i'm not talking about it continues um it says coachella was supposed to take place in april 2020 but when covid19 struck the festival organizers pushed the event to this month um and then again to april 2021 after the virus cases in the u.s climbed all summer multiple music industry insiders now tell rolling stone that the 21st edition of popular music festival will be pushed back for a third time to october 2021 which goes into line with the article that i mentioned in the previous podcast from a former wme um executive who said essentially we shouldn't expect concerts to come back again until 2021 i guess you get up there now let me see if i can load that one up again but let's just let's move on to this one but it continues says sources have been um in direct communication with aeg and golden voice the concert promotion companies um that organize a festival so they have been asked to prepare for a move to the fall and again it's probably no surprise for us in the nightlife scene i think we've kind of come to a realization that you know most likely than not we're going to be the last industry or the last sector of the economy to reopen will the first to close will be the will be the um, last to reopen and just you know unfortunately due to the how covid spreads is probably not conducive to have these events but there is a part of me that thinks if you're able to implement some level of rapid testing, if you're able to limit the capacity, if you're able to ensure that there's a steady airflow and all these sort of, you know, re um, um, adjustments are made to the club in order to make sure that it's COVID secure, I think we could get around that. It really is an issue. It really is a possibility because to expect, you know, bars and clubs around the country to stay, you know, to be essentially unemployed or be unable to make money, um, unable to put on events unable to support their staff and the wider community for what another year it just doesn't seem like it makes any sense does it um but again like i mentioned we probably should have been um this should have come as no surprise especially considering this article that i that i kind of spoke about on a podcast that was published in july the 17th right early this year um this uh executive said the following mark geiger until recently the head of music of wme one of the founders of lala palooza sounds like he's not expecting to be attending any festivals in 2021 right he already said in july when well, nothing's going to happen uh, next year he said the following arcs on the bob leffitt's podcast when he expects concerts to return geiger said my guess is late 21 more likely 22 so when i heard that f at first i already ha when i especially when you hear it from industry professionals people working with some of the biggest promoters and you know music festival organizers in the world it's definitely a bit of a marker a bit of an indication of how the entire industry will go you know there's obviously a trickling down effect you know um some of the from the biggest or smallest events they need to ensure that they go through without any hiccups the last thing you want is to put on an event rush it and then have swaths of people catch covid which could potentially turn you know turn into loads of civil cases which could potentially end up you know uh, tanking an entire network so no one wants that smoke so you want to make sure you're putting on an event in the safest possible time to ensure you have no liability going forward and 
unfortunately, you know, event spaces and, you know, uh, people that work within the arts are the ones that are going to suffer. So it says the following, and this original article, Gosh, is 100% moving again. One person who works with a major talent agency represents public music performance to the Rolling Stones. He said, frankly, they were supposed to announce the change over Labor Day, but they hadn't. And they were supposed to announce it at the end of September, but they hadn't. The sources say they have heard from Golden Voice CEO and Coachella um, co-founder Paul Tullet office that the new date will either be the first or the second week of October 21, but they're holding their first three weeks to be safe. Uh, all artists have confirmed availability. That is insane. Insane in it. So the festival that's meant to go on t later on this year, later on this year, it was pushed back to April of, of next year. It's now going to be pushed back to October, most likely the beginning of the year. So again, for yourself, can you wait until next year, October, this time next year, to go back to a festival or a rave? Can you wait? If not, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. And then a very interesting observation from a German virologist called Christian Drosten. He's sort of like the 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 Fauci of Germany, essentially telling us that we're going to be wearing masks for another year. So don't expect to be maskless until then. And this is a message basically to the anti-mask uh, people out there at the moment. But listen to what he has to say. How much longer do you expect this corona pandemic to go on for still globally? Well, it's, it's very difficult to, to make global projections. We have very different, difficult situations um, in countries around here, um, in Europe. Um, the winter will not be an easy one. Um, we will have vaccines during um, the next year to come. That's encouraging. Um, I, I guess it will last until end of the next year until significant parts of the population can be provided a vaccine. So um, we, we won't uh, get rid of masks anytime soon. Uh, so even while we start vaccinating, the population in, in largest parts will have to wear masks. Um, in countries like Germany, where incidents... Jesus. That's a tough one to hear, isn't it? ...till but, end of the next year. But I think most sensible people would have come to that resolution, right? Or realization that we're probably going to wear a mask until the next year. Um, I would like to see a little bit more of a uh, creative approach, though. Like I said previously, I would like to see some places adopt the Swedish model, you know, try to implement herd immunity. Other places decide to go, you know, to hold onto the mask until the end of next year. Other places you know, try and push forth this vaccine that seems like by all intents and purposes is going to break all records. I think the last vaccine that was able to be provided on mass was essentially developed, I think within a four year period, a four year window, right? So if they're able to do that, if they're able to turn this around within two years or 18 months, it's unprecedented. It goes against anything um, that I basically heard experts say is normal. Um, so if they're able to do that, amazing for everybody. But still, to roll it out to the entire population or to roll it out to, you know, the people that do want to receive it, it's going to be really difficult. That's going to be another operation in itself. So I guess get comfortable wearing a mask in it. Get comfortable putting that thing on, strapping that bad boy and when you go into, um, you know, crowded areas, when you go into shops, when you go into private businesses, uh, when you just go out and meet your friends. And if they tell me, hey, the only way you can go out to meet your friends and hang out is to put on a mask, I don't think that's a bad um, sacrifice or bad sort of uh, thing to make for the time being. I don't think so. So, you know, it is what it is. We ha we will have to make adjustments in these crazy times we're living at the moment. And I think that's one of them.